that them need A the blender she love A the blender them want First guest and it's such a pleasure okay. to have you here right now Blessings, blessings, thank you for having me Blessings, blessings Now I'm going to wait a second just for daddy to, to enter Greetings, yeah. greetings Daddy, uh, Everton Blender, Papa Everton Blender, it is such a pleasure hey, to Papa. have you here. Yeah, man, blessed love. Blessings. Sir, man, I just want to say, firstly, before we begin off the interview, I have a song of, of yours and Aisha's. There's one entitled Spiritual Man. And then Aisha got a version which is called There is a Place. And I must say, since I have received them, these are the most played, most received, most loved songs in South Africa right now. And I just want to say thank you wow. very much for giving us that opportunity. Thank okay. you. Thank you. And we have to big up my, my other sister on that one. Her name is Jamila Blender. So she'll, she, she's also on that song, there, There's a Place. Excuse me, excuse me. Sorry for missing out. Jamila Blender, she's killing it out there. Man, yeah. these songs and, and the way they link together is is it's so seamless, so beautiful. But we're going to get into that in a second. So <laughs> excuse yeah, me for yeah. jumping the gun. Um, I think I would start off by saying, Mr. Everton Blender, I know that you, you need no introduction. You're, you're a mainstay in reggae music. You have been for, for, for decades. From when I was a youngster, you're somebody that I grew up listening to. Now, when you look at the way that reggae music has developed, how do you feel about it? What is, you, what is your mind state of reggae music at present? Well, right now, we just need some more ice just tune at the business, you know, because everybody wants to be, well, I call it now, everybody wants to be international. They want to, they want to mix with this and mix with that and, you know, diluting the music. But right now, you know, the music, we don't want it to dilute because of our own. And mm -hmm. we, we don't really respect it like oh, back in the days one time because we used to respect the music. Because people come, come taking it over and say it's theirs. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Jamaica, we, we birth reggae music and now someone else is having it and says that it's theirs. But right now we there as the foundation ones who are going to see that things correct. You know, because we need a correction. So I forgot to start yes, using a lot yes, of correction. Yes. I forgot to start using a lot of correction to correct. So we're going to start whop some. You understand? <laughs> yes, yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and Aisha, what is your take on the state of reggae music? I mean, you're the younger generation coming into it, but you still embody the spirit that your father embodies. What, do you, what is your take of it? Ay, ay, ay. That's a tricky question without getting my head bite off, you know, because I'm just coming in, you know. Um, let me speak on the, um, the chauvinistic side where, where it was back in the days where it was a male-dominated industry. It's yes. not like that today. It's not 50-50, but more females are on board, you know, and I like the direction of where it is going. Um, Message-wise, um, we still have a long way to go, you know, but um, Africa, you know, still holding the banner, Queen Amiga, Etana, and a lot more Marcia Griffiths, you know, we can't forget the, 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 the legacy she has bestowed upon us, like that in the in the male aspect of it has, has created a way for the other lineage, you know, yes. a positive lineage, so it's just up to us now to continue on that same trend and try to do our best in emulating what they the foundation that they have set before us and, and carry on with it. But 100%. to each his own. To each his own. Yeah. To each his own. Let me put that out there. So without knocking anyone. No, very true, very true. I mean, music is something that is such a, a it's a freedom of expression. So it's hard yeah. to, to tell somebody that you're you're incorrect in the way that you're expressing yourself. So to each yeah. his own, as you're saying, yeah. I really do respect that. Uh, Mr. Blender, I'll go back to you. And, and my question would be, when you started out with, with the music that you were making, this is music for me, when I listen to it, it sounds like music that is coming from the heart, from the soul. Is it something that you set out? out to, 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 to leave a legacy, a lasting effect as, as you have done? Or, or is this just something that you were just um, delivering the message as it was given to you? 
You see it right now, sometime when you talk, you know, it may sound like you're accelerating, but when I accelerate, you know, is this is, is the music choose me? If it was me, choose the music, we sing anything. But music is a thing where it's a cleansiness and a righteousness part. I don't know who wants to sing what they want to sing or what have you, but me choose it for a positive vibe. Because when I was a youth growing up, I see all those rude boys, some of those rude boys yanking through town and with their big guns. I don't see them anymore. They are not around anymore. So I know that righteousness will always be there. So I choose that road. When I was a youth going around and hungry, you know, I see enough people take with people and bag and run down on the road and people are saying, steal, steal, because them shots are thief, you know. Make yeah. people hear them, thief, thief, but throw them, so touch them, grab them first and them run them behind and the people, steal, steal, steal. Nobody Such knows a thief, thief, you know, thief, a sheep theft. Yeah, 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 it's still my purse or something, you yeah. know, see. So we choose the positive part of it. Because when we are youth, we get to find out the more, the more you live good, is the more you learn. And you, 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 you go through life. Because sometimes the things that you put out, that's what you get forward. So I notice when I put out good, I get back good. So these songs that I'm singing, it's coming from the art. And sometimes, it's not sometimes, it's the bird and the, the nature of the wind. Sometimes mm -hmm. the nature, love us so much that sometimes the nature of the wind bring in lyrics. You know, you talk these things and people might think they're exhilarating. I'm not righteous than anyone else, but you choose me. You know, sometimes the birds, I can remember I was holding my Sabbath beside the riverside and three little birds come and three little birds was red, gold and green. And I'm approaching them, they have witness Jonathan and I don't remember who else was there, but I know Jonathan was there. And I saw these chilka birds with gold and green when I was going my Sabbath. So right away, you know, it gave me an energy. It, it, it gave me a vibe to sing. I don't remember the, the song that I sing, you know. Um, I think it's, I'm going to use the golden pen to write these words up there. Yeah. Um, you know, so it, it coming with a vibe right away. When we see the birds, they may come with a vibe. So that's the way it's how you live. And, you know, as them have heard them say, practice what you preach. Or, yes, you know, we, yeah. practice. we don't have to really practice, but because we know the, 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 the what I call it now, the, the, the dangerous uh, reaction, what could happen to you if you do the wrong yeah. thing. That's what I mean. For every yeah. action, there's a reaction, yeah. you know? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. So that's what that's you that. give is what you get, kind of. You want yes. good, you're so good. All right. So me, me, me God fearing, me just fearing, me Almighty fearing. So certain things, there are certain things where me not go to Rasta. So me just say, no, say, I write us through not singing or sing. Because right now I'm working on a song right now. It's not finished as yet, still, but I'm working on some songs, you know, because from the other day, through the coronavirus, I'm kind of laid back and, you know, kind of laid yeah. back too much. I have, have, have a song on my work on right now. So show them a little sign, you know, Father, show them a little sign. You know, make them know that, you know, because right now, they want to control the universe and want to come send Maxine with a curse. You know, yeah. say, but show them a little sign, oh, Father. Show them a little sign. Show them, you know, I'm not yeah. feel it from my heart. So, so these are the things where I'm not to try, not try, you know, I'm doing from a long time. Sing love songs for the girls. I know without the ladies, you know, because the ladies they are the mama nature of the earth. So I feel yes. you know, see. So but if you are not positive, if you are not a positive girl or a positive princess or a positive queen, you don't know if I'm blaming is not gonna stay around. You know? yeah. True, true. Very true. true. Those are those are powerful words of wisdom. Sorry for cutting you off, sir. Yeah, so music is that thing where they choose me, you know. They never me choose the music. If I can't watch me choose the music, when I start singing any anything. But music start start off with red, gold, and green, and when you have to be clean to, to, to rally around red, gold, and green. Red, gold, and green is a normal color. That's a, a, a significant tree color you have here, and black also, black, gold, and green too is a significant color. So 
you know, we have it's to the whole, the, you know, I look at it, I don't mean to cut you off, Daddy, and some people don't really pay attention to the significance of what the flag means, the African flag and the whole aspect of red, gold, and green, and it ties in with the most high, like the whole entire world. The sun represents the yellow, the green is the earth, you understand, and the, yes. the, the red represents the blood for me of all our ancestors and, you know, everything that was shed and then the whole of it. And then black is for us as people who stand tall with all of that. Yes. Yes. And that's, that's such a powerful statement. I think it, when you, when you telling me that right now, it's something that I, I learned. I think I was in grade two. I was in grade wow. two and they were breaking down the meaning of the colors on our flag. Um, and they were telling us all of those different, and that was exactly the interpretations wow. that we got. So, and we also got blue, blue is for the oceans. And wow. yeah, but I love that. I love that. That's so powerful because yeah. like you say, a lot of us, we will be flying a flag that we don't know what we're representing. Yeah. So you just educated a lot of people and I, and I applaud you on that. Now, Aisha, I would like to, to pose the similar question to you as, as I posed yeah. to Papa, but uh, in a different way. Um, I would like to ask your influence to become an artist and to become singing. Is this from your strong musical background from growing up in a household with music or from an inner drive within or, or where does it come from? It's both, to be honest, because monkey see, monkey do. You know, you train up a child in that way and then they'll adapt eventually. But, you know, we have other plans and we all, oh, I want to be a lawyer. Oh, I want to be this. But it doesn't matter how far one tends to go or you say, oh, I want to do this. Something, you know, music is like a magnet to steel kind of thing with me. And I run from it from time to time, but it keeps pulling me back in, keeps pulling me back in. So it's both. It's, it's an inborn concept, you know, I'm my happiest when I'm on stage, I'm my happiest when I sing, when I write, you know, music makes me happy, period, you yes. know, and then just being around it, you know, and my dad and everything, so it's both, it's both for me. I love that, I love that. Now, Mr. Blender, I, I would like to ask you uh, something that, that I've been wondering, because this is something that, that pops up a lot when I look at the, the young artists out there and, and I question them. And, and it, it's something that they, they're not able to answer, or perhaps when they answer it, I'm not satisfied by the answer, I'm not sure. So I think I'm gonna pose it to you because like the way you've answered me today, you're you're the most knowledgeable guy I've had on the show thus far, so um, I would like to ask, is it possible to separate the culture of, of reggae music, Rastafari, from reggae music when you're creating reggae music? So could you create the music without necessarily believing in, 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 in the culture that's behind it? Or is it an impossible task? No, right now, it's, it's, it's a culture behind it, you know. Because music is a thing where it's there to do something. It's not to just entertain alone. Because some people just, you just, just, just need with entertainment alone just to earn a few bucks. Yeah. But singing reggae music is not all about any money. It's all about the, the, the liberty of the, the youngsters coming up to you. So we have to make sure they are, they are um, learning from it, from whatever you are doing. We, we, we don't want to put them out there like in a, in a deep ocean. You know, if they want to come, they come. Whosoever will me come, I will come. So we try to do our best with the music so that it, 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 it elevates ones and ones out there. The younger ones, them going to school, coming from school, and they hear Everton blend and say, you know, don't disobey your mama or what have you, you know, and they learn from that. You know, so we try to make a positive vibes for the younger generation to come and who is here now. You know, so I don't know. If I, no, you know, I like I don't. That. that. That makes sense. That makes 100% sense. Um, because I've been looking at, a, I've been viewing situations where, as you say, music has been more in the monetized sense where the passion has been lost and it's been more about what can I earn from this music than what am I giving with my music and I just I just love what you're saying that 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 
it's very difficult to separate the two, especially when you're dealing with a music that is so in tune with one spiritual side. It's very difficult yes. to separate right. the two. Uh, if you're right now, right now, let's check it out, you know. I've been singing culture for a long time, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm not boasting or bragging, you know. But sometimes, the way we see it, because we don't really get the feature what we're supposed to get. And we don't fight against no feature neither. We don't fight against the line life. You yes, know, see, because too much limelight is not good. We just want to know that we are in the blend. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sir. We just want to know that we are in the blend. But right you now, sometimes, sometimes I just feel like, say, sure, you know, I'm going to stop singing. Because we now get the, 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 we now get the vibes we're supposed to get from, 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 not from the music, but from people out there. But when I realize, I realize that people love me. Because I can remember people write on my Facebook and, and my daughter look at me one day and say, Daddy, you know what this person said? He, he knows that you're getting fight, you know. What for people? We know that you're getting fight, Mr. Blender. But lift up your head and hold it up high. You're a family man. Yes, yes, true. Yes. And all these things, you know, uplift my back again. Come and say, what? So when I watch the... We are calling them, when I watch the majority of the people who are saying, yeah, Blender, yeah. We are watching the minority, same way, because the minority will turn to majority. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. It's not all about the hype, basically. Yeah, he, about, he's uh, saying, you know, because you might not be in the forefront, but at the same time, when you go, the encouraging words that fans have to offer and tell you that, you know, this song did this for me, you know? Yeah. And, uh, because yeah. I can remember I went, to, I went to Kenya. And when I went to Kenya, my daughter is here as a, as a witness. It was surprising, the biggest song in Kenya. What was it? Um, <laughs> you will make, you make it if you try. And nobody in Jamaica pays that song any mind. So it was like, what on I'm on bow I'm on bow down, I'm a foot. And I kiss my foot. I'm say, Bridget, man, the Almighty. I'm the Almighty. want to do that to the man. said, Father, Blender, don't make me dish, you know. Just let me do what I want to do. I say, all right, Papa. Because I never really rejoice and glad to say I'm going to bow my foot and everything. But the man said, the songs do a lot for him. We, 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 we went into this place, this restaurant. It's a good-sized restaurant where people sit down and all of what you need. And I want the people to say what I'm blending are coming, man. Remember me tell them, I'm going to appear nice. Hey, Mr. Blender. Hey, hey. I was there, too. He was, I was there, too. There. I was there. <laughs> so I, I can guarantee you, anywhere in Africa, Zimbabwe, South Africa, no matter where you go, wow. that is exactly the greeting that you're going to get. Like, you're, you're, you're massive. You're massive. I don't even know how to wow. put it into words. You're, you're incredible out here. Like, for me to speak to you is, is something that my grandmother wouldn't have dreamed possible. So wow. I just, yeah, it's incredible. Because sometimes people ask me, Blender, how you feel? We know say you're a big star. We say sometimes I feel blush, you know. Because <laughs> all the people them rush me. Sure, we don't feel, and I, I, I wouldn't say it down, but, you know, I feel a way inside and say, all right, Mr. Blender, you, you're a great man, you know. But we just make it look like a simple thing, you know. We say, don't to hurt you. Me, me, we are walk on the road and a man say, Father, be coming. And I'm gonna say, Blender, don't go make them come to you. You know, say you're a star. I'm gonna just walk over there. And I'm gonna say, Father, me. I say, I'm a real thing. I'm gonna knock my now. I'm gonna wake up with you know. And but that's I what I look up to you most that. about of your yeah. um, down to earth um, side that people don't really get to see, you know, because they tend to see artists as this mega star and they believe that they're above people and this facade. And yet that's one core thing where my dad teaches me every day. You are just like every other man and woman like that. The same flesh and blood. We all share that same, you know? So yeah. just as he is, you're not. Not because you have a name or whatever. We are our brother's keeper. We should always look at them as equal. Oh, thank you, my dad. 
Tancho, Tancho so much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I found it incredible. Um, but it was my first tour with, with anybody when I went with you guys to Kenya. And I was coming from hip hop. I was making hip hop the year before. And I did performances with people like Fat Joe and, uh, you know, all these type of dudes that, that came from America and they were performing in South Africa. And one thing that I know, like about those, you do not speak to them. They do not speak to you. Wow. It's, it's impossible. You cannot get to them. There's, it, it just goes like that. So when I had the experience with you guys, it was like the complete exact opposite of a coin head to tails because now wow. this is the and for me like you're you're bigger you're as big or bigger than any of those hip hop artists because you're a guy who's been going through generations of my family i'm the only one that knows wow. fat joe in my family <laughs> you know oh. what i mean <laughs> so <laughs> you're like bigger for me and and yet the bigger man in my eyes is the more humbler man and and, yes. and the whole family is such a humble and loving family. So that's something I have thank to big up and thank say. You. That, that thank you. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so it's, much. It's man. amazing. And and thank you guys for the way that you have received us and treated us because it's unheard of. In, in my book, I've never. Thank you for the hospitality <laughs> and treated us as if we're one brothers and sisters. Yes. We appreciate it. Remember, um, we didn't speak the language and everybody just, you know, gather around and we were like one big happy family. Like you couldn't tell you were from South Africa. This was from Jamaica. Like everybody just, and I loved it. I missed it. Yes, right now, when, 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 when me there road, you know, when me there road, you know, the soldiers them for the street or the soldiers them for the ghetto. And Mr. Blender them call me, you know. Mr. Blender, work one. Mr. Blender, any one of them there. Because he's an industry youth, you know. He's an industry youth, an industry man. I have to travel, so I have to do good things. So in time, them see my family and say, Mr. Blender, that, you know, they are well protected. True, true. So anyone, anyone would hate my children, them. A bad mind, them bad mind. Them not have no liberty. So people out there see me on the street. And Mr. Blender, I'm, all right. For instance, who say 12 man? Our 12 virgin selling selling um cash on the street. If me can't buy from the 12 of them, me not stop enough. Yeah. So what yeah. you do, me save my money, save some money, save some money, and say, you must see them cash me up on the road in time me I stop not buy from the 12 of them. I'm gonna stop and buy from the so 12 of them. Everybody gets something yeah, that is you phenomenal. Can, you can put them down. We see what y'all do, you know. We think we not see what y'all do. We see what you're showing us. So every man can go buy a pound of flour and a cut of butter. To eat, you know, me, you know, me, me not spend, me not spend one thousand dollar with one man. To me, have the money. I'm not, me not spend two thousand dollar with one man. Every man have to get Everybody the Everybody has man. to eat. Eight hundred dollar, yes. something yes. like that, so yes. that they can go feed them kids. Uh, so, uh, some you look funny. Right now, they make the highway in Jamaica. I show you how serious it is. They make the highway in Jamaica. The only time ever time blender take the highway, unless I'm late. Right? Unless yeah. I'm late, I'm, I, I pay the toll. But from, I'm, from I'm not late, I'm driving through the, the, the ghetto, through the rough road. Make yes, one sir. and two people. And say, blender, way, 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 way. And it's never like a thing, we left it to them. When you drive on the highway, you drive them out. Yeah, and at the end, when you punch up on the road, when you punch up on the road, and them see them when I come lay down, and then close and go true, on. And true, true. Yeah. So I try to drive them out. Me, me is the only artist. I don't know about anybody else, I can talk for myself. When I'm driving, the people say, Mr. Blender, you're the only man who drive with the window down, you know, everybody. <laughs> when a man see me, I come to him and say, Father Blender, we are saying, because the man no want, the man take no check. Then the man no want to take no check and say, all right, see a hundred dollar. Me have to check a check. Stop yes. on the roadside yes. sometimes, police are say, oh, you can't stop there, Mr. Blender. Mr. say, I look at you to come in office and I'm hungry, you know. I know I'm hungry. So right, and I'm just like, give my little food. You got to move, you got to move, you got to move. I'm just like, all right, my dude, come, come. Come down the road. I would just go down the road where it's more clear and park. Give them my food. Down. That's how we do it. Yes, so, true, true. Yes, sir. We know what the youth them need. We know what the yeah. youth them need, man. And you yeah. know, what you're saying right now is, is 
It's like a spirit of Ubuntu. In, 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 in South Africa, they call it Ubuntu, to be to, it's togetherness, to be together, uh, oh. to whatever you have, you share with the next man, whatever yes. he has, he shares with the next. And that's the spirit that you're telling me right now. And it, yes. in my mind, it, it strikes a chord because it's so beautiful how you can still connect people within the diaspora back to Africa, because no matter what we have been through in the 400 years or whatever it has been, we still have the same love for each other. And you just yes. exemplified that. Yes. So I must say that's beautiful. Aisha, yeah, I wanted yes. to ask you a little bit about the, the some of the stuff that you stand for. I know that, that you, you stand for, for the children. That's one thing. Um, you stand for for um, against gender-based violence yeah. and for women. And um, these are the, the two things that you really champion. You really champion it amongst many, amongst many. Thank but you. Thank the you. reason why I pick on those two is because right now in South Africa, we are going through a, a pandemic of sorts of gender-based violence. I think wow. since the lockdown went down, um, partners are trapped at home with partners that mm -hmm. are less mm -hmm. loving than they thought they were in the beginning yes and so on so forth so i just wanted to get uh, your take on such situations and perhaps maybe a word of uh, of encouragement or advice that you can give to anybody who may be stuck in such a situation it's funny that you you asked that question because when this pandemic started out and everybody was going on and trying to think about, you know, um, the lockdown and what are we going to do? And the first thing that dawned on me, and I said it in January of last year, February of last year, I think it was a UK interview and I told it to this lady. And I said, you know what bothers me the most? Like, I don't hear people coming out, you know, and sending out prayers for those people because, you know, wives. And we're not going to just um, um, base it on just women being abused because you have men. It's vice versa. You know, we all go through abuse one way or another, yes. but more so women and children and children from being in an abuse home use school as a means of escape. You know, a peace of mind to be our own friend, you know, to share that happiness. And then after school, it's like traumatic. Oh, God, I have to go back home to this. And wives uses the husband to go out to work or she goes out to work as a means of escape. And when you no longer have that, you're trapped in a situation with no means of escaping, you know, and I urge people to pray for those individuals who are stuck in their situation and don't know, will I make it out? You know, I can't go to the next door neighbor. I have nobody to talk to, but I'm stuck with this man or this woman or my parent, you know, and it could be physical abuse, emotional abuse, mental abuse. You understand me? Like so much children are being molested, you know, and I just want to encourage them to just, just stay strong, whatever it is, pray. Yes. Never stop praying. Pray and trust the most high. Reach out to people. You know, we can't go out to, in large group, but try talking to somebody. Telephone, you know, you can text and ask for help. Just be bold. Send signals, you know. But most importantly, pray and know that people, I know people are out there, like myself, offering prayer or whatever. And for those who are listening, in any area you can offer, it doesn't matter how small, food, water, whatever it is, be your brothers and your sisters keeper. Each one help one and teach one. Yes, very true, very true and pertinent words. I feel that since people have been introduced to the lockdown, they, they, they kind of used it as an opportunity to isolate themselves from other people. Yes. So less yes. connection, less brother and sister. Um, and I feel we have to we revive that. We can still that. be there for each other. We, have, we yeah. can still be there. Our Hundreds. telephone call. Go well, to your neighbor's what, house. Well, that's what they're doing. That, yes, that's sir. the whole plan. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't want us to, to, to link together. They want us to stay far from each other. Yes. It's a pandemic. Yeah, it's a, it's a pandemic, man. I like we, that. As a bingy man, you know, a ancient one, we know the vibes, you know, because Jackie with the vibes from a long time. Yes. Yeah, Jackie with that spiritual level from a long time. So we know what they are coming with. So where them, where, where, where them know from last week, Rastaman know that from ages. So it's not it's nothing new, you know? No, yeah. definitely. 
Just yeah, we, we, we just have to keep strong. Like I was telling someone today, we're in the last days in my mind, but a lot of us weren't prepared for this. From the African diaspora, you know, it passed on from lineage to lineage and the Rastafarian movement. Believe yes. it or not, I believe it wasn't started in Jamaica. It started back home, you know, from our poor parents passing down onto us. And one important thing that teaches us is to chant and plant, meaning you pray. And you plant food to eat. And we're in these last days, man. We just have to be strong. Only the fittest of the fittest shall survive. And we have to be right here. It's the crazy. Because you lose thing. here, you lose everything. Yes. You lose the whole war. You lose the whole war. Yeah. And it's the craziest thing because um, I was looking at some stats and they speak about Africa and Africans in the diaspora being amongst the youngest or it's the, it's yeah. the youngest in the world. We, we have, uh, you know, Europe has a very old workforce. America, I'm not too sure what, I don't even think they know what's going on there. So that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, Africa is, is really going through a lot now. You look at all these, these vaccinations and all of these things that, that they introduce in it and maybe in a upon certain people and so on and so forth. So I understand when you say that it's the last days because these are things that you it can is. equate back it's to the, the Bible. depopulate. And I say this with no um, regrets. I, it's to depopulate our kind. Yes, yes, definitely. We're trying to depopulate our kind, our skin, trying to get rid of us. So as black people, we have to stand strong. Stay and together and look out for each other. We will. You understand, we're the dominant race. Who like it, who don't like it, just bite it. It is the truth. And they don't want to see that. Yes, ma'am. Now, unfortunately, I'm running a bit short on time the, on the interview. Um, so my last couple of questions, I just want to ask um, Mr. Blender, what are you up to right now? You were talking about some songs that you recorded during the pandemic. There's a whole bunch going on. Can you let us know a little bit more? Well, right, you know, not telling the truth, you know, we have some things in the in the in the pipeline, you know. I want to go to Jamaica and spend about six. Yeah, it's mute. Unmute, Daddy. Oh, he's the it's tech technology. Yes. No problem. So unknown number call. So we were trying to do some things and like run some video, do some new songs and some other things, you know? Yes. So we have some good things in the pipelines. Um, the other day I was in Jamaica about two, two three weeks ago, oh, and nice. Lucian I said, Brenda, time for the combination, you know? So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so man. Everton, Blenda, Luciana, you know? And in the making, you know, yeah, have Everton Blender, Luciana, Aisha Blender, Jamila Blender. So we have some things in the pipeline, you know, but we, we are not rushing it. Because through them and them plan, they make them things say them plan of a work. But the plan now work. It, it, it may look like it's worse. It may look like it's going to be worse for us, but it's not worse for us. It is better for us. Yes. Because true, we, have, true, we have the true. time, we have the time to, to do what we have to do and we have the time to relax because it's about 17, 18 show cancel for Everton Blender. You know? <laughs> so it's a lucky thing. So I have my youths, them daughters, and you know me I say? Yes, sir. Them, them, yeah, man, them will work, man. Sometimes they look for me and say, Daddy, nobody worry yourself, you know. We go out there go work, you know. Because yeah. I'm mean, the family, man. I'm scared of my family. I never ill treat them or try to stay far from them. I always with them too thick and thin. I always be with my family. So they may look for me and say, Daddy, don't worry yourself, you know. Just go sit on one side. We will give you food. Come from Father's Day. You know, I'll do every day as Father's Day still. But from yes, Father's Day, <laughs> them carry me out, them carry me out, them buy me dinner, Mother's Day, the same thing. From my earth strong, you know, them carry me out, them buy me stuff and make me look like a young boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. That's lovely. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I just throw the thing going, you know, right now we have good things coming out, man. But definitely I would need some video on the road. Beautiful, need beautiful. And yeah. I can't promise we will always be there, always supporting yeah. whatever is going down. I am behind that right now. Aisha, and anything coming from you? What's going on? 
a lot of work i have uh working on my ep which possibly looking like an album so look out for that working with um kenyan artists it's gonna be a musical treat musical nice. treat, you know speaking about everything that's going on today and emphasizing on that, that like you know the pandemic and everything that's going on just want to leave that message out there don't let this be a race war because that's what they're trying to do turn us among each other too. yeah 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 very true so just I, good music good music look out for everything you know music videos and positivity and all of that it's like, it's, it's like the piano key the piano yeah. key is black and white and they play together in one harmony Ah, yes, sir. Yes, go. sir. There Without them, go. them keys, you'll be playing a different type of tune. I love that. I love <laughs> that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sir, if people want to get a hold of you, uh, maybe for bookings or uh, features or just want to download the music, or how can they go about such? Um, I should tell you that in America. I should tell you. <laughs> okay. So, for daddy, you can go to Instagram and it's real. Everton Blender, real. E V E R T O N underscore blender. And you can type it in on Google, E V E R T O N B L E N D E R blender. You'll find him there. So you can DM. He answers his, his DM personally. And then for bookings and our whatnot, since you're in Africa, they could contact you. They could also, and then you can reach out to us. And then they could also do the blend them in email. That's blend them, B L E N D E M I N C at hotmail.com. And for Aisha Blender now, it's I S H A B L E N D E R. Type it in on Google. You can find us on Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, you name it. Aisha Blender, Everton Blender. And on Instagram, it's I S H A underscore Blender. Beautiful. I want to thank <laughs> you both so, so much for your time thank and, you for, and having us. for all your words of wisdom. You've really shone a light, a light of positivity right now on the show. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, Aisha. And I'll be Thank linking up again us. with you soon. <laughs> you better. <laughs> yeah, man. Blessed love, man. You know, you, you, you know, you're not even half of, this, half of the things in here, because there's a lot that things left to talk. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All the blessed, man. Salute. Yeah, blessed, respect, blessed. sir. Thank you guys so much. Have a